top of the bill, the aim of every circus performer. And here's a trio who are already there, way up there with very little to step on. Oh, would you like to take a walk, as the song? And the answer in this case is a polite no, thank you. Doing the splits is no picnic, even on the ground, but 60 feet up and no net. Again, no thank you. They're the Alzana Trio of Sheffield, otherwise the Davis family, Harold, Elsie, and Minnie. Harold's been doing this sort of thing since he was five. Well, now what's he up to? <laughs> Look, bud, we'll take your word for it. Rest easy, they all know exactly what they're doing. They've done it for years, before the war, all over Europe. So uh, let's relax, shall we? Did I hear you say the past doesn't matter, it's this time that counts? Well, they've done it again. You can't frighten us, brother, not anymore. Our nerves are getting like that cable you're on, exactly like that cable, so stop shaking it. If you ask them why they do it, they'll tell you they're as safe up there as a monkey in a tree. They couldn't make a monkey out of me, not that kind. Just look at that. It's the high spot of the act, Harold's crazy bicycle ride. But riding a bicycle on a wire isn't difficult enough for these troopers. You know what women are for making life more difficult. Well, it's a first-class turn, but it's nothing to the one it gave me. When you're used to doing your stuff in public, watched by admiring throngs, a little attention from the camera is very welcome. But seriously, he's putting into practice the old rule of the big top, keep fit and in trim. Those cheers and shouts you'll soon be hearing don't come easy. They are paid for in patience and hard work. Yes, sir, he's got more than his share of horse sense and deserves an appreciative pat. But when you're little, you've got to have something up your sleeve. Between you and me, they think that white horse you've been looking at is just a big show-off. Now this calls for real intelligence. Here we come gathering nuts in May. Did you say nuts? Look at that. Everybody wants to cut in on the act. Oh, well, we don't mind. One thing about him, he does get over. Here's something that's going to make them sit up in their seats. The one and only skipping dog. Okay, Skipper, let's try something else. This time the man does the turn and Fido takes good care to stay on top and earn the applause. He's determined to make his way right to the heights, no matter who he steps on. Behind the smooth and hair-raising performances one sees on opening light lies real skill. Confidence, steady nerves, and these are best acquired young. So far, so good. And there she goes. She missed it, but the safety harness saves her. Okay, my little man, let's see you do it. Well, he's on anyway. Let's see if he can stay there. Too bad. Now to find out what went wrong. The trainer was once a bareback rider himself, and he knows all the answers. But he's got a nap pupil, and he's ready for another try. Still no go, but he'll get there. No hard feelings, except where the ground hit you. And now, it's time for another rehearsal. Once again, the horses are the mainstay. So the idea is to let them find their feet and loosen up. They know what's expected of them by their critics.
everything's set for a new act. 17-year-old Joan Fowler is the writer. Once a program seller, she's well on the way to being the star of the show. That's how circus life goes. Now she's got in the position. The idea is to get horse number three to pass right through between horses number one and two. They're going nicely now, and they've done it. It's in the bag. As long as everything goes as smoothly when the band starts playing, everybody will be very, very happy. But there's no time to slack. These are certain of a cheer, and so are the little ones. It looks like it's going to be a great show. And here's Jumbo and his pals. They've unpacked their trunks and are prepared to put their best foot forward. Watched by discerning eyes, they're out to show that bulk is no obstacle to elegance. Now, what do you think of that, wise guys? Didn't think we could do it, eh? It's a pushover. Or rather, it's not a pushover. We could stay like this for hours. Cool poise and perfect balance. And say, if you think that's all, just watch this. Okay, just keep that up, and elephants, don't forget, for it's time to start the show. It's opening night, when every heart beats faster than the laughter, the thrills, and the spectacle of the greatest show on Earth. It's a children's wonderland, and the grown-ups don't need much persuasion either, when it comes to giving the once-over to the circus. an act that always gets applause. Easy, isn't it? Once more into the breach, dear friends, goes the man who's due for a raise, the human cannonball. As always, the chimps bring down the house. Don't look now, but isn't that just a bit like Grandpa with a loving cup? <laughs> so human, it makes you think. <laughs> Surprise item, the Canine Cup Final. They're simply bursting with enthusiasm as the battle wages hot and strong. Every kid in the audience would give his best toy as a transfer fee for Fido, the four-footed fullback. It's the clowns who have the dog's life. Water, water everywhere. And brother, they get all that's going. But it takes more than that to dampen their spirits. It's all part of a mad, brave patchwork of the circus. The show that will live, as long as there are children to watch it.